Muriel Rukeyser's Beast in View is a compelling exploration of the intersection between personal trauma and collective societal issues. The poem's dense and evocative language paints a vivid picture of a narrator grappling with inner fears and societal disintegration. Rukeyser employs a blend of introspective and political commentary, reflecting her concern for both individual and societal health. The poem begins with an intense, almost claustrophobic sense of dread. The imagery Rukeyser uses conveys a palpable tension, as if the narrator is on the brink of a revelation or a breakdown. This sense of imminent danger underscores the poem's central theme, the profound impact of personal and societal conflict on the individual psyche. The beast in the poem is both literal and metaphorical, representing the external threats and internal anxieties that plague the narrator. As the narrative progresses, Rukeyser weaves in elements of social critique. The beast becomes a symbol for broader societal ills, such as violence and corruption. The poem's tone shifts from personal turmoil to a critique of the larger social context, illustrating how individual experiences are often reflections of systemic issues. Rukeyser's use of vivid, often unsettling imagery serves to bridge the personal with the political, demonstrating how the personal is inherently political. The structure of the poem mirrors the narrator's fragmented mental state. Rukeyser's use of disjointed syntax and sporadic imagery reflects the chaos and confusion felt by the narrator. This fragmented style effectively communicates the disorientation that accompanies a deep psychological and societal crisis. The shifts in tone and perspective throughout the poem create a sense of instability, which amplifies the thematic concerns of fear and dislocation. Rukeyser's language is both precise and evocative, capturing the complexity of the narrator's inner world. The beast, as described in the poem, is not merely a monster but a manifestation of deeper fears and anxieties. This creature embodies the narrator's struggle with their own sense of identity and security. The poet's choice of language reveals the underlying tension between personal vulnerability and the external forces that threaten to overwhelm the individual. One of the most striking aspects of Beast in View is its portrayal of the beast as an omnipresent, almost existential threat. The creature's pervasive influence on the narrator's thoughts and actions suggests a critique of how societal issues infiltrate personal experiences. Rukeyser seems to argue that individual suffering cannot be fully understood without considering its connection to broader social and political contexts. Throughout the poem, there is a recurring motif of surveillance and control, reflecting the narrator's sense of being watched and manipulated. This theme underscores the power dynamics at play, both within the narrator's personal experience and within the societal framework they inhabit. The sense of being constantly observed contributes to the narrator's feelings of paranoia and helplessness, highlighting the broader implications of societal power structures on individual psychology. Rukeyser's depiction of the beast as both a tangible and abstract threat reinforces the complexity of the poem's themes. The beast is not confined to a single interpretation, it represents various forms of fear and oppression. This multiplicity adds depth to the poem, allowing for a nuanced exploration of how external forces shape and distort personal reality. In conclusion, Beast in View is a powerful examination of the interplay between personal and societal conflict. Rukeyser's use of evocative imagery, fragmented structure, and thematic depth offers a profound commentary on the nature of fear, identity, and societal influence. The poem challenges readers to consider the ways in which personal experiences are intertwined with larger social issues, making a compelling case for the inseparability of the personal and the political.